What's up, dude and dudes? Can you see that? Can you see that? Yep. I passed my driving test. I am licensed to kill. Wait. No, no, wait a minute. I'm licensed to drive. There is a difference. At least I think there is. Possibly. No, dude, it's okay, right. <laughs> anyway. I'm just going to be uh, talking about it and talking about my experience and how, how it went for me. Now, it took me two tries. I, I did fail the first time. What do you know? It wasn't my fault. <laughs> you know, it's uh, it's never your fault. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, took me two tries. I failed the first time due to one major, but I had no minors. Second time, I had six minors, but no majors. And the majors are really the important one, because if you get a major, that's it, you're done. But minors, you can get so many before it becomes a uh, a problem. But I didn't get that many. Let's just say I had passed, so that's all you need to know. Anyway, my experience going into it was, first of all, my hours lesson beforehand, I nearly run over a little girl. She went to run across the road just just as I just as I pulled around a corner. She went to run across the road. I performed an emergency stop. Just about, just in time, her mother pulled her back. It was, uh, it kind of freaked me out a bit. I was kind of freaked out. And I, I was about, a, you know, a, about a half a million, half a meter or something like that. You know, half a meter from hitting a little girl. It was like, oh my god. Anyway, um, my reaction time was fast enough. <laughs> that was, uh, that was, that was a pretty scary experience. You know, I hadn't even passed, but you know, I haven't even gone into the test yet. And just as we come around to the test center, I nearly hit someone. It's it was crazy. Uh, God, you gotta love those blind bends, eh? You gotta love the blind bends. Anyway, my experience. I went into the test center, waited around for my examiner. My examiner was a great, awesome guy. He was really, really good. He ignored a ton of stuff that he probably, probably shouldn't have, but. He was a nice about it. He was really nice about it. He told me all my faults afterwards, but he said some of them weren't weren't bad. So he was he was going to overlook them. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I won't tell you who my examiner was, but he was a really really nice guy, and that's what you need. He said there are many many people in there that wouldn't have passed me because of the fact that I had done certain things, certain things, certain things, certain things, and he said he's not that picky. As long as you're confident and competent, then uh, he's pretty happy with it. As long as you don't do anything really stupid, like I did the first time. But confidence and confident is really, really what you need. You need to be thinking logically about it when you're going around. Don't don't think um, right. Okay, if I'm going over here, you know, I can do this. I can do this. I can fit through that gap. No problem. And then get so close that you think, oh god, maybe I can't fit through this gap. You know, don't try it. Just just stop, wait for the other car to come through it. You know, you better stop and wait for everyone else. D don't don't think that they're going to stop for you. That was uh, that was one thing that uh, that he said to me about. You know, don't don't assume they're gonna they're gonna move. Don't assume that you're gonna move either. Just just don't move until they react first. You know, if if you stop for someone and they flash you through. Sometimes even that goes badly, so just let them wait for them to move before you move. Anyway, yeah, that was that was part of my experience. Um, I did a perfect three-point turn, though. I got to admit that was an awesome three-point turn. I was a boss at that. <laughs> uh, we didn't do an emergency stop, but uh, don't know. You know, we didn't do an emergency stop. Um, he pointed out how low the uh, the petrol prices were getting, especially in one of the stations. You know, it's, it's been up for so long that uh, he noticed that it's gone down to like uh, like 130. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that's not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see the car I went in. Um, my examiner has two cars. 
Uh, one's petrol, one's a diesel, and I hate the diesel. The diesel sucks. It's got it's, the clutch is really, really like um. It, it's got a huge dead zone, but it's it's normal for it. The actual car, it's it's normal for it to have this huge dead zone, and it just like I kept. I, I kept getting so close to grinding a gear that I thought I was actually <laughs> going to fail on the fact that my gears were getting really bad. Especially to the end of it, but apparently I didn't even have a single fault on my gears. My gears were fine, apparently. Um, I nearly stalled. I nearly stalled. I didn't uh, I didn't actually stall, but uh, I came really close to it. And the fact that I kept control was, uh, was something he commented on. Um... Yeah, clutch control is a really, really, really big thing. If I was to suggest to you to do something, it would be make sure that you uh, you keep changing gears and get used to changing gears as much as possible. I didn't have much time for the fact that I only had an hour to get used to this horrible, horrible diesel that uh, that was awful. The brakes are so strong. I know that sounds bad, like the brakes should be strong, but you know the brakes were so so sensitive. It was insane. Um. I almost came to a dead stop like three times, like really, really jerky stop because of the fact that the brakes were so strong and they they have like this really tiny zone where it's just like BOOM! They're on or they're off. Then there's like almost no leeway. They're on or off. That that threw me off a bit, but I got through and uh, yeah. It was, a, it was overall a good experience and I absolutely love the fact that I came out and I was shaking because I was so excited the fact that I passed it was it was awesome I feel so good and um, <laughs> get home and everyone's like yeah you passed woo it's like way uh, I'm I'm happy anyway so there it is there is an mp5 gameplay on the PC uh, my new graphics card is allowing me to actually play PC games properly while recording. The, uh, the last graphics card wasn't that brilliant at it. Um, yeah, so. Go NVIDIA GT 430. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Happy days, guys.